the SmallSat conference is the premier uh, conference for people who build CubeSats. Um, and at this conference, there are like thousands of people. Everyone is willing to share their story and listen to yours. So being at this conference has been amazing. I've been able to talk to so many people, whether it's just uh, students in universities, undergraduate students, graduate students, PhDs, and also people in industry. So one of the things that I definitely have learned from this experience is networking. That wasn't really my thing, but once I came here, I had the opportunity to like actually do that. So it's definitely changed my perspective a lot, and it's going to be something where in the future I'll be able to like use that experience. I talked to you know, the people at MIT, the people at Georgia Tech, um, NASA JPL, NASA Goddard. Everyone who is anyone in the small satellite scene is here. And so they, you know, they come to us and they learn about our stuff. And this is how we build connections. This is how we get friends. I think it's really important for them to talk to all of the different companies and uh, government organizations and research institutions that are doing this type of research and development and to see that what they're doing actually has an impact in the future. So we were the last presentation for the educational program session. Right after the session ended, uh, we were outside and so many people came up to us and were asking us about our experiences. Getting the opportunity to present in front of a couple of hundred uh, industry experts, I thought that I was very proud to present the work um, on behalf of the entire team who put in countless hours in the lab. And it's been such an incredible um, outpouring of support from the community uh, because the kids just did such a great job that everyone wanted to come talk to them at the booths. The other experience that I really liked was um, talking to people from, let's say, like Singapore, Australia, and all that. And we've been talking to a lot of people, um, a lot of universities who are trying to work with local high schools to start these projects and lead these kids from entering high school, learning how to build a satellite, and then going on to universities and pursuing degrees in aerospace. There were a lot of teams that, like, a lot of people came by and asked. Like, even at the university level, some people came by and asked, you know, how did you guys actually organize this, you know? How did you solve this four-year knowledge transfer problem? How did you keep people engaged even when they have all these other priorities? And uh, just to know that we are able to help them in some sort of way to get that started is really cool. Like, overall, this conference has been really eye-opening. It is such a special opportunity and we are so grateful to be able to participate. You know, this has been like an opportunity for us to finally share with the entire world, like look at this really, really cool stuff we've been doing, right? It's really a one of a kind experience and you really can't get that anywhere else. I just want to say like thank you to everyone who's been able to support us, TJ Partners Fund, uh, CSLI, which is the NASA um, funding that we got to launch our satellite, thank you to Nanorax for helping us be able to actually launch this and uh, to Dr. Jim King for all the mentorship and everyone else who's helped us along the way. So yeah, thank you so much. This has this wouldn't be able to be done without you guys. So it's been an amazing opportunity for all of us.